It's always the ghost notes. It's always the little things. Because in the moment we tend to... It's normal. It's just the, the different layers of focus, isn't it? In the beginning, focus is untrained, right? It focuses on the big picture. Bass drums, accents, fills, what the pattern is. Then the, the next layer is... I'm gonna add some stuff, but that doesn't mean we're gonna be listening to it. Like, there's something, it's weird. One would think that I'm doing it. Shouldn't I know exactly where the notes are? But we don't. There's a, there's a, in the beginning, there's a, a delay, a certain latency between what we think, what we do, and then the feedback of what we just did. That loop in very accomplished musicians is real time. When we're learning, it's not. It takes that split second to come back. And you're like, oh, that wasn't what I wanted. You know, there's something in, in uh, psychology and, and neuro, uh, neuropsychology and neuroscience called flow. And the state of flow is when, you know, you know that, that feeling when time freezes? you just not zoned out, but zoned in. Yeah. And everything just seems to suddenly, like, move at different speeds than like compared to you you seem to be like in a state of zen right that's called flow in neuroscience that's when the brain just suddenly is like the, the planets align let's just put it like that interesting focus because the the state of flow is that moment that you're trying to focus trying to focus and almost like feels like just you enter a new state of consciousness that happened to me for example, well, it happened to me many times, as it, it sure has happened to you many times, and it will happen a million more times. But I have one memory of entering the state of flow and that clarity. It, and it was weird because when I, and I, I try to think as much as possible about what I feel yeah. afterwards. I don't just feel things, I feel them, and then I go like, why did I feel that? That's my, my you know, night time routine, is I think about my day. So this is this was uh, well probably a decade ago. So I was having a drum lesson. I was taking a drum lesson with Michael Lauren, and we were working on a simple exercise. I was just not getting it, but as it as, I, as it happens, um, it was a very like it was focused on bass drum, and uh, I uh, I'm pretty sure it was either quads or um, a sixteenth note triplet phrase with two bass drums at the end. Something like that. Nothing fancy i was just trying to get those bass drum strokes to be really on and i was practicing in front of him during the lesson and he was like nope the bass drums are still slow i was like what the hell they don't sound slow to me right this is my thinking like what so i keep doing it he was like close your eyes and i played it and i heard it they were super slow compared to the hands like and i was like wow how powerful is the, the sight that I was looking at the notes or looking even, it's just staring at the f that it was blocking my ability to be clear in the way I was listening. Yeah. It was mind blowing. It was one of those moments because immediately I heard it and, uh, and immediately I fixed it. Right? Because in the moment, I'm very pessimistic. So in the moment for me, my career just ended. I'm not even joking. A bad lesson, I go home pissed off, for example. So I had to train myself to not let go. It's not about letting go, because I'm also, I mean, I doubt that that does anything for anyone, to just let go, Akuna Matata kind of, eh, not so sure. For me, for me, some people will swear by it. And that, you know, at the end of the day, and let's, this is very outside of the realm of drumming, but at the end of the day, it really depends on what you're looking for in life. I'm not really focused, for example, just uh, this is something that I'm going to share with you. As a person, I'm not really focused on being happy on a daily basis. Might sound weird because we are shoved that cliche like down our throats of being happy, happy, happy. I'm not really focused on that. I think happiness will be a collateral effect. Uh, um, um, yes, uh, effect of, um, of, of being productive and being valuable to others. Um, that's why, like, I try, I try, I am uh, as prolific as they come. I, do, I, I live five lives at the same time. That's my road to happiness. Because I know that at the end of the day, if I look back and I'm like, I did a lot. 
That, that will do. That will do. I'll close my eyes and go. <laughs>